Hey guys, uh, thanks for tun tuning in again. So um, today I'm going to show you how I install the front and rear FRP to my um, Aero FMD. Okay, so let's get started. So we need some screws. Okay, so here's the screws. So first, we will need to install this to the front. So I need to remove this body shell. Okay. So let us install this. So here you can see got four holes. So we will screw in this hole, the fourth, the number four hole. Hole number four. Okay. So using the short screw. Okay. So short screw like this. So put it in. Hole number four and we'll align it to this hole here okay I don't screw it tight first so that I can adjust it okay so next I'll screw the, the other one Okay, so front done. Then we can put on the rollers. Rollers. So two rollers. And now we, for the roller, we need to put in this, uh, I, don't, I don't know what is this, metal something. Metal bearing. It's not really a bearing, it's just a metal. Okay. Then you need to put this spacer okay, on top and then we will use a long screw long screw to screw from the bottom for this is a <coughs> this bearing is a 13 mm bearing so we need to put it to the right hole so this is 13 mm the hole number 3 is a 13 mm for the 13 mm so we just put this on okay, it's a bit tight all the way and put on this this okay then the spacer or oh, some call it washer so let me show you the manual okay. actually for the FRP have a different hole for all these holes different it has a different function you can you need to put different um, bearing at the different hole okay so here so you can see um, the outermost you only can use for 9mm and 13mm is using this hole. Why? Because according to the Tamiya rules, uh, competition rules, your car cannot be wider than uh, um, 106. So 106mm. So all you can do is to maximize your car width so that it doesn't move sideways on the track when it's running so uh, next we put in this pipe uh, okay. ok 
Okay. Before that, we need to use this nut to screw it, to tighten it. Can tighten it uh, using this. Okay. Oops. Try not to mix up the thing. So yeah. in two of this tip this is a uh, what do you call this this is a uh, 0.6 millimeter tube and just put it in okay and finally you need to put on this ball plastic ball cap so I need to cut this off to cap and Tamiya give us provide us this special tool here this PVC thing actually the usage is for us to screw this on to our okay, for example to our screw this ball balancer I mean maybe call it ball stopper or something onto this okay. so let's you do the screwing thing you do the tightening okay and I think I, this part is not tight now so one of the way is to pull this and uh, screw from the bottom okay so, that's it so you can use this to screw it uh, not to over tighten because it might spoil this rubber this plastic okay so one side done I'll continue the other side so basically it's quite simple so just push it through and put on this bearing put this on sorry if you just put this put this on okay then put this on then put this Spacer or washer, you call it, and then the nut. Not the nut. Oh shit! All the things are too tiny. So I need to be careful for. Okay, so 
done and put into put this in cool and screw this on put this on then use this Not too over tightened, just enough, just nice. And here also. Okay, that's it. So we have completed the front FRP, and next video I'm going to show you how to install the rear FRP. So I hope you can stay, uh, continue, subscribe, and uh, watch my video if you like uh, my video. Please subscribe so um, stay tuned and I'll upload another video about the how to install the real FRP thanks guys have a nice day